insert college football players final collegiate games last night we tried to break Tim Tebow's record of 482 pass yards and 51 rush yards in the bowl win against Cincinnati the All-State Sugar Bowl of course we went through for 417 and only ran for 30 42 so we have to redo that challenge but we're not doing that tonight we're gonna try to go after another challenge a little more easier challenge we recreated the 2010 BCS National Championship game as Colt McCoy and the Texas Longhorns taking on Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide. For those who remember the remember this game, this is the game that Colt McCoy separated his shoulder on his first carry of the game as he ran into Terrence Cody and he was ruled out of the game with this located shoulder. Unfortunately, the writing was on the wall. Texas lost that game 37 21 behind. Over 200 rush yards between Mark Ingram and Trent Richardson. So we're gonna retry and recreate history tonight. We're gonna play as Texas against Alabama for the BCS National Championship game. So we're gonna to to play this game in tro in uh in uh of course we don't, we won't play exactly in the title game, but we will play on the field where the game was taking place at, and it was taking place in the Rose Bowl. So we're gonna play USC East and UCLA Stadium. So. Pamela's the, the home team in this matchup. And we're going to beat the Texas Longhorns at Colt McCoy. And we try to recreate history in our second attempt in this Swan Song series. We're over the water right now. Let's see if we can recreate the magic with Colt McCoy and the Horns taking on Mark Ingram and Trey Richardson in the Alabama Crimson Tide. All right, stadiums. Going to be played in USC Stadium. Let's go ahead and get to that. Yep. USC Stadium. It's going to be a night game. Go. Here we go. Let's go ahead and see. We can recreate history. In this game, Colt McCoy was two for two, nine yards, and he had one carry for zero yards. That one carry was to play that knocked him out the national championship game. So here we go. Bama and Texas in, in USC Stadium for the national championship, quote unquote. But this is the setting we was at. Nighttime in the Coliseum. Well, the Rose Bowl. Let's see if we can recreate history as we're on the road in this match as Texas was in the title game. I see they're talking about Sergio Kendall right there in the right end position. So if you look at Texas Ross, they have some great players on this team. You had Fozzie Whitaker who played in the NFL, quote unquote, of course. Garrett Gilbert was a freshman in this game. He played some NFL games. Jordan Shipley was drafted by the Jags. Marquise Good was still playing to this day. Uh, Blake Giddy was, was in the NFL for a little bit. You'll have Sergio Kendall, Brian Arakpo. Texas had a lot of firepower, but they had no chance against Nick Saban, uh, Julio Jones, uh, Mark Ingram, uh, Trent Richardson. Uh, defense, yeah, Rolando McCray, Dante Hightower, Terrence Cody, Javier Arenas. They had a lot of players on this title team, so it's a good matchup between Texas and Bama. So the goal of the day, really much, is win the game. Uh, Colt McCoy will play one series, so we'll definitely have enough time to beat the nine pass yards he had in that game. So we start on defense, first and ten. As you can see the quarterback, Greg McElroy, line up in a shotgun. Along with Hyman Trophy winner, running back, Trey Richardson. His first pass is incomplete as he was trying to find Julio Jones in that title game. Greg McElroy threw the ball 11 times, completed six of them for 58 yards. And the most they was on the ground as Trey Richardson ran for 109 and two touchdowns. And Mark Ingram, 22 for 116 and two touchdowns. It route to 205 yards rushing as a team. And Julio Jones starts the game on his first catch. They go right back to him in the National Championship game on this night. He only had one catch for 23 yards, and that will win about for 23 right there. As Alabama starts inside Texas territory at 47. And now uh, Bama lines up the out formation. They're going to play a play action to Ingram. And he was looking for the fullback, and McElroy's pass is complete. So, so far, the first three plays, Bama came with all passes. That's McElroy's one for three. 
So second and ten for the 47. McElroy under center. Ingram in the backfield. Ingram lines up in the slot. He moves out wide. McElroy looking. It is intercepted. McElroy's pass is picked off. He was looking for Mark Ingram. Out of the backfield, he'll throw his first pick of the night. And Texas gets the football back in solid field position. So the game, the play we're going to run is the play he got hurt in the title game. We're going to run a quick speed option and see what will happen to Colt with this play. So Colt lines up in the shotgun, spread formation, trips to the right, and Colt will keep it. And Colt will take a pop on that one. And that'll be Fozzie Whitaker. Not Fozzie Whitaker. I think that was a... Uh, Either Trey Newton or DJ uh, Monroe, but the running back didn't get much. Actually, a pickup of eight. Pick up of two, I bet, on the eight. carry. On their own 48. Number 12 with three wide Here we receivers. go. Second and eight. McCoy. McCoy throws a rifle to his roommate, Jordan Shipley, and the pass is incomplete. So let me. Third and eight for Texas with 3.58 left in the first quarter. McCoy lines up with a shotgun trips to the right. McCoy has a man open. He threw it behind his intended receiver. And after the INT, Texas goes three and out. And they'll bring up the punt unit. He had, has two players in a row. McCoy had two wide open players. But the ball was thrown behind the intended receivers. And Texas will put it away. And it was a fine putt. That bat and return is a return specialist, Javier Arenas. And he's taking down, he's taking down the 14. So, Bama had a good drive on the first drive. All passes, but the drive ended on the interception. Texas does nothing with it. So, Bama gets the football back in their own, deep in their own territory. They're a lot of behind formation. McElroy, another pass, and he is speared. Spearheaded so down at the nine yard line, a loss of five for Greg McElroy. And I remember watching the National Championship game, and Brett Musburger said something during the game that baffled me. Greg McElroy never trailed in his high school career, but he's going to do it now for the first time in his career. Greg McElroy is trailing in his career as he throws a pick six from nine yards and out and back-to-back -back interceptions for Alabama in the tie trailer early 6 nothing after the INT and the extra point of the way is right down the middle so with 325 left Texas scores first on an interception return for a touchdown from 10 yards and out and Graham McElroy and Alabama no for the football all their placement passes including two INTs so, no touches yet for ever for uh for Mark Ingram at the backfield yet. Let's see what happens on Alabama's next drive. Down seven nothing to Texas. So the goal today is to win this game and have more than nine passing yards. We have not completed the pass yet halfway through the first. So Mark Ingram gets his first touch of the game and he's met after a gain of about. Actually, he'll lose a yard. So for the first carry of the game for the Hobbit Trophy winner, he'll lose a yard. So we second and 11 for the tie, down seven nothing. Man in motion, McElroy rolls to his right and overshoots the wide open Mark Ingram at the backfield. So it's third and long for Bamba with 257 go. left seven. in the first quarter. They trail 7 nothing. McCoy drops back, rolling to his right. Pass is complete, and he is loose. And Bamba ties the score up on a 63-yard touchdown pass on third and a mile. Greg McElroy finds his wide open man and takes the distance. And we're extra point away from tied in this ball game. Extra point down the middle is good. Lee Tiffin with the extra point. 
And with 2.48 left in the first half, after three plays, all the plays, all the yards of the drive was done in that one play. And Tiffin kicks off to the dangerous Jordan Shipley, and Shipley will get to about the 34-yard line. The offense looked a bit out of sync on that last possession, Coach, and it was the defense that threw him out of sync, Kirk. Those guys are fired up. Let's see if they can hold them again. They'll take over at the 34. Stanley Marker's down. They took too much time. There might have been some miscommunication down there. In any time... Sorry about that, guys. Had to fix the camera on the video. I'm going to restart this game because my camera was acting very crazy. But we good now. Make sure we straight. EA Sports. It's in the game. Here we go. We're going to try this game again. Fortunately, the camera was acting up, so we're going to so if you're watching this video, please fast forward to this moment right here. I had technical difficulties in the live stream, but we got it going now. Oh, wow, on my dynasty boat. <laughs> Sorry about that. So let's go right back here. Bam again. We're gonna switch the stadium up this time. We're gonna try to play in the Rose Bowl at UCLA Stadium. So try this this time. Texas, we're gonna play at UCLA Stadium. All there to say stadium with this game. So let's see. UCLA. Okay, what are you up? This is the one. Pasadena, California. So we was at the wrong stadium anyways. So we were playing in the Rose Bowl on the campus of UCLA. This, this is the stadium right here. I knew I was in the wrong place. Still feel like midday because the heat is so we're finally here at the right stadium as we're recreating the BCS championship game from 2010, which Bama knocked out Colt McCoy in the first quarter of the time of the game. Uh, and Texas' uh, season was written on the wall after losing their, their signal caller. So this time, let's see if we can keep Texas quarterback Colt McCoy healthy this time. And we take it on Bama in the National Championship game rematch. So our goal, we have two objectives. Our goal for one, because during the title game, Colt McCoy threw for nine pass yards before being knocked out of the game. We got to pass for more than nine yards and beat Alabama. So nine pass yards now hard. But, but beating Bama is going to be kind of difficult, especially how loaded Bama was on both sides of the football. They were spearheaded by the running attack of Mark Ingram, who won the highs for that year. Trevor Hurston, who was evolving to becoming the running back who he was in college. Graham McElroy, who started the, the kind of trend that Ben was having a bunch of game managers at quarterback. Yeah, Julio Jones coming off the All-American season. Terrence Cody, Javier Arenas, Dante Hightower, Rolando McClain. They had some studs on that defense. First pass of the game, and it's caught, and it's, he is hit hard by Blake Gideon. But after a big completion, they are already at the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, first down. 
Alabama comes out in the shot. McCoy in the shotgun. Play action. Has a man again. It's dial the tight end. Bama's on the move. They're definitely deep inside Texas territory. If he would have stayed in bounds, that was he was gone. So here we go. First and ten for the 29. Trips to the left for Alabama. Quarterback drops back. In, um, McElroy's pass incomplete. He was looking for a dial and gave it tight end. Blake Giddy, who's been all over the field in the first couple of plays, knocks the pass down. So second and 10. At the 29-yard line, two big pass plays start the game, but an incompletion to slow Bamba down. McElroy's pass incomplete. So after the, the hot start for Greg McElroy, it is now third and 10 at the Texas 29-yard line. Can Texas get the stop they needed? Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. McElroy drops back, looking downfield, and big time catch by Marquise Mays. And it's just on the edge of first and goal, first and 10 at the 11. And Alabama looking to score first in this matchup. McElroy under center to Ingram, and Ingram is hit hard. He'll get a pick up of one, and he's down to 10. They have to get to the one yard line for first and goal. Second and nine for the 10. They bring in the big boys in the eye. Quarterback drops back looking. So it's third and nine for Alabama. Can Texas hold the tie to a field goal? We have 3.30 left in the first. Number Bama's threatening on the opening drive of the game. McElroy looking. Pass almost intercepted. And Alabama will force for three. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. Fourth and nine for... This to try to put his team up by a field goal. Fourth and nine for... Alabama, Lee Tiffin's kick from 27 yards good. So at 325 left in the opening quarter, Alabama leads 3 0 after an impressive by play, 65 yard march. Number 9 going backwards. And he is taking down the six. So Colt McCoy comes out. And that's because of excellent. And they got a long ways to go. So they're in the shot of the old goal line. Colt McCoy, the senior, comes out. The tide bring in their dime package. He looks to throw. McCoy scrambles for his life. McCoy tripped up. After a gain of one. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful. Second and nine from the seven. Bamba lows up the box. And McCoy is sacked. Back at the one yard line. It is dangerous right now. If, if they cannot afford a sack here because they get sacked in the end zone, so it's going to be a safety. McCoy lines up the shotgun, trips to the right. McCoy finds a man, and he almost got a safety. That goes for a gain of wood, and Texas got a punt for the end zone. You can bet the punter sweating to have to kick this one from his own end zone. It is blocked the end zone by the tide. And it is a safety. Remaining in the first quarter, the score is Alabama 5. The special teams for Alabama made it difficult for the punt to happen. And he comes in right up the middle untouched. And it's two points for Alabama. So it's now 5 nothing after the safety. So at 225, Alabama leads Texas 5-0. 
Can they have the football back after the free kick? The tide. Go with the eye formation. McElroy drops back, swings it to Ingram. Ingram gets the reception good for about six. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. So second and four from the 48 of Texas. Good play to start the drive. McElroy looking under pressure. Finds his tight end again for his third grab of the quarter. And here comes Bam on the move. The tide line up in an eye formation. Play action. McElroy has a man. It's Julio Jones. And he'll take it to the crib. Touchdown, Bama. The All American Julio Jones makes his present felt in this first quarter. McElroy with the touchdown pass 39 yards. And Alabama up two scores early. Extra point is good, and it's 12 nothing, Bamble. So after an early safety by Texas on a first drive, Texas got some work to do down 12 nothing. And we all are off to a bad start in this in this uh game. Eight, Let's the see the offense come back out, do some of the next drive. I expected points out of my offense every time they took the field, but I told them no jump shot. Jump shots? What are you talking about? This is football. <laughs> McCoy lines up on the center. McCoy. McCoy taking a shot. It is caught by his roommate, Jordan Shipley. And the old play action comes dividends for Texas. First big play for the Horns, and they sets them out to the 44 yard line. First catch for Shipley. McCoy again, and the receiver drops it. Hit a dead in his hands, and he dropped it. But you still have to look it in and catch it. He tried to catch it. It just bounced right off his hands. After the incomplete pass, second and ten for the Horns. That at least get him used to catching bullet passes. Number twelve, back in the gun. McCoy intended for Shipley. And he did a nice job. It is incomplete. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. Third and ten for Texas. From their own. After a third straight pass was incomplete. Alabama lines up with five defensive backs. He drops back. McCoy looking finds a man in a first down. Gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk. Good job. It'll be first down for Texas inside yeah, Alabama territory. Right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing McCoy the spotting in the shotgun man. five wide. Set up in the gun. On the screen, and he's met for a loss of two. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Second and 12 for Texas with 36 seconds left in the first quarter. Dominated by the Tide. McCoy. McCoy taking a shot to the end zone. To Buckner. And Buckner holds it in. 41 yards. McCoy to his main man, Buckner. guys on the field that time. Dan Buckner with his first catch of the game goes 41 yards and the Horns are back in it. Up for the point after. Impressive drive by Colt McCoy to wheel this team down the field through the air. 
Fires is bad. Extra point is good. And we got a football game here in Pasadena. 26 seconds left in the first quarter. 12-7 Alabama leads. Here's a kick. Brady on the return. He's bent. The offense with a lot of the 32 in the air on that last drive as they moved it down the field for the touchdown. First down. First and 10 for the 32 for Alabama. Two, 23 Alabama seconds left in the first quarter. Here. Five point lead. Play action. McElroy. Again, finds number 80. Not an easy catch, but he made Big it time reception. That's because it was effortless. Most kids would make that a tough catch, but this kid can make it in his sleep. Great play. Base backfield. Another pass. Incomplete. That was close, but dial again the intended receiver. In. Just a little too off target by the quarterback. High formation here. Second and ten for the 49. Final six seconds of the quarter. Play action. And it's intercepted. The big break Texas needed. What a catch. I'm surprised. And that'll be the final play of the first quarter. McElroy's first INT of the game. That's not always the case. Sometimes it's actually the opposite. Some guys play receiver instead of corner because they don't want to hit or tackle. This actually be the final play of the first quarter. McCoy lines up on the center in the ace formation. And McCoy runs the speed option. He is popped. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. One yard of the play for McCoy. Alabama 12, Texas 7. Seth throw the touchdown pass to Dan Buckner on the last drive. Let's see how McCoy answers and look take the lead on this drive. Number 12 has four receivers lined up here. Drops back to pass. McCoy. Caught. Finds his receiver. And another first down. It's Buckner again. Yeah, you're right. There's not a whole lot of McCoy with the zip and finds the receiver open in the zone. And another first down. First down. The Longhorn. McCoy in the shotgun. McCoy looking for Shipley. He was pressed at the line. It is incomplete. Second and ten. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the third. At the thirty-eight. Texas. McCoy. McCoy again is a fumble, and Bama recovers. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made. Javier Arenas was there on the recovery, and another and a promising drive by Texas ends with a fumble. So Bama gets the football back at their own the 20. Come out showing three wide. Bama's pass almost oh, intercepted Good job there, as he was looking for Julio Jones. Jones. But when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch this. 432 left down. for the first. Both down. quarterbacks are airing it out in this one. Both were touchdown passes. Back in the gun. McElroy under pressure, looking almost intercepted. He had his hand and dropped it, and he was looking for Julio Jones again. Third and ten in a 12-7 football game at Bamba leads. 429 left in the first half. McElroy looking, slapped away and almost picked off by Sergio Kittle, the defensive end. And four passes, four completions, and these three and out for Alabama. That, my friends, deserves a major league yoke. So, with the first, with the first, with that drive being ended, they bring out the punt unit. The putter, Pat Fish, PJ Fitzgerald, and Shipley. The speedster on the return, and here comes McCoy. The last drive ended in a fumble. And McCoy will come out, lined up in the single back formation. Bamba loads up the box. 
Hand off to the left side. He'll get about two. Number 31 comes away with two yards on the carry. Second and eight at the 49. They line up at the 49. It's second down. McCoy lines up the shotgun. Number 12 has four receivers lined up here. Back to pass. McCoy's pass is almost intercepted. It is third down. Not a smart pass. He thought he could squeeze it in there. I guess. Now the next time he does that, he better be ready to make a tackle. They'll pick him off. If he's third and eight for Texas. Down twelve to seven. Three wideouts here. McCoy's pass intended for Jordan Shipley is incomplete. Great coverage by Javier Arenas on the play. And Coach Matt Brown keeps his offense on the field. 12 to 7. They line up in the shotgun. And Babylon's the box. And McCoy is sacked. Well, they went for it there and failed. Not Javier Reedus once again on the play, taking down the quarterback for a loss and his turnover on downs for Texas. Excellent so, field Bama, a great field die. position on Texas' side of the 50 with 349 left in the first the half. Come out showing three wide. Throw on first down. McCoy under pressure, braces, and McCoy McElroy under pressure, he is sacked. The protection just Loss of six. I'll tell you though, Kirk, it's hard to keep this end away from the quarterback. Well, they're going to have to. Otherwise, this quarterback's going to get drilled out there. McElroy sacked for the second time. Second and 16 at midfield. McElroy drops back. Here's a screen of Jones. And Jones taking up down open field by Blake Gideon. And that was a perfect Third and seven a after an 11-yard pickup by time. Julio and Jones. Really in great position to stop this play. Terrific call. Alabama comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Ingram while goes out wide on third and seven. McElroy has a man. It's caught again. Number 80 off to a great first half in this football game. Receivers spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working on their timing. And right there it paid off. Number 22. First and 10 to long horse 25. Hands off to Ingram. Ingram bursts for a first down. 15 on the carry for Ingram and Texas. It backs us against the wall. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. They're in the red zone. Bama in the red zone. When they scored a touchdown the last time, it was down here. McElroy looking. Overshoots Ingram. Just a little too far for the halfback. Second and 10 for the 13. 227 left in the first half. 12 7 Alabama. Alabama goes with the ace set here. Tight end in motion. Play action. McElroy in zone. Just behind the wide receiver Julio Jones. Might want to think about taking a little bit off his passes in those situations. It'll be third and ten for Alabama, looking to add on to their five-point lead. Upcoming for the offense. Alabama comes to the line. Only one in the backfield. Seal back formation. Actually, Eagle will go out wide. McElroy breaks the sack. Breaks another, but this time he will break Sergio Kendall. And that'll be his first sack of the night. And that'll end the Bama drive. But they will get a chance for three as Lee Tiffin sets the kick. A 36 yarder. To add on to their five point lead. Tiffin from 36. And Bama trying to waste some clock to limit Texas time to get some points in their next drive. From 36. And it's good. So with 140 left, the tie lead the long horse 15 to 7. After an eight play, 25 yard drive. And Tiffin kicks off to Dan Buckner, who caught the lone touchdown for Texas so far. 
And Buckner gets solid field position for McCoy at the 32-yard line. So let's see what the Horse can do down eight with a minute 38 left in the first half. McCoy drops back. McCoy tries to rifle it to Shipley. And it's incomplete. If no one's open, there's nothing wrong with tucking it in and trying to pick up the first on the ground. Second and ten after the failed Second completion down. to Jordan Shipley. McCoy in the shotgun. Bam low to the box. The Longhorn. Come out in the shotgun. Drop back to pass. Looking. Rolls to the left. McCoy's well. pass is complete. <laughs> complete. And they make the stop. The first down, down a pickup of 12. Coming with heat on that plate. Yep, and the offensive line did a good job of picking up their first. First and ten, the 44. Enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. The Longhorn. Being in motion. Receivers on this play. Drops back on first down. McCoy trying to scramble. He's taken down for a loss of eight. Excellent athleticism by this young man. He just beat the man in front of him, plain and simple. Second and 18 from the 36. The Longhorn. Come out in the shotgun. McCoy is sat again. The fifth year senior at linebacker drops the quarterback. Second consecutive sack for Alabama. This kind of mentality on defense. He's just so tough out there. And I remember when they were shooting him years ago. They almost stuck him at fullback. 30 23 for the Hordes. McCoy looking for Shipley. Incomplete. And they'll have to put it away. Intended receiver on the play. And that'll make it fourth down. Texas. Those back-to-back -back sacks in the long horse drive, and Texas with the punt. Number 17 awaits the snap. He gets it Good punt. Javier Reyes will call fair catch. catch. And now 27 seconds left in the first the half, and Bama's up eight. Uh, Texas will receive the football in the start the second half. This drive will start at the 34. They back off in coverage. Play action. Kendall to pursue. Fives dial out of bounds. So it's complete, but they didn't get much. Get a one. That's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found 23 else seconds left in the first half. Bam up eight. Play action. Play action. Fires his man, Marquise Bays. Gain a five. And it'll be third and four. Here's third down. Four yards to Wait, go. Wait, 18 seconds left. 40. Back on play action. The play Has a mid is incomplete. Dial with the drop. Mm, it's been a good down as a drop, my friend. Uh -uh. Very and that'll end drop. that possible drive by Bambo. As Texas will get the football back with probably less than 10 seconds left in the first half. So they're set to pump this one away. Number eight, back deep to return. Fitzgerald with the punt. Shipley with the catch, so with 10 seconds left, Longhorn's down eight. Let's see if Texas can try to get downfield, get a field goal attempt. McCoy lines up with the shotgun. He's been sacked four times already. McCoy. McCoy takes a shot downfield and is caught. At the 46. And it's probably called back for holding. And it is a potential 20-yard completion is negated due to holding. Like he had a of and this will be the he final play of the first win. half. But hey, you can't do that. It's first and McCoy will out of out in the first half. And we've reached Bamba leads 15 to 7 after scoring the first 12. Texas scores a touchdown to cut into the deficit. Look at the game stats right now. Neither teams run the football. Colt McCoy in the first half, 7 of 14 passing for 128 yards and touchdown. But he's been sacked four times, as we have mentioned. We got to protect better. Got to find ways to run the football for Texas. Texas did a good job shutting down the run for Alabama. Sacked McElroy twice. 
but he's 11 for 23 for a buck 68, one touchdown and one interception. Bama's outgated the long course 169 to 106. So Texas get the football to start the second half. Down 15 to 7 in this national championship recreation game of Colt McCoy's final game as a Longhorn. So the goal is to win this game and throw for more than nine yards. We got the over the nine yards part, but we're tra been trailing the whole game. So it'll be first and ten to 31 for Texas. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. McCoy's been sacked four times. McCoy, incomplete, overshoot Shipley. Good job on the offense line to protect McCoy, but he overshoots the hot man, Jordan Shipley. Bama once again loaded the box. McCoy finds Shipley this time. He got the best of Aridas, and he'll get a big gain on the play. Pick up 18 for Jordan Shipley, and it'll be first and 10 to 45. McCoy, 8 of 16 passing with the touchdown pass to Buck near the first half. McCoy finds the man again. Gain of eight. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance. Second and two for the 47. The 47-yard line. It's second down and two to go. The offense lines up with three. McCoy in the shotgun. McCoy option. Pitch to the running back and McCoy took a shot. At the 46-yard line. Gain of one after all that running. Third and one from the 46. Third and one. Big conversion here for Texas. They can convert. Boy, finds a man and he has space. Big time run up the catch. Sets up a long wars inside the 30-yard line to the 22. Came after him, and those linemen held him long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. First and ten, the 22 at the pickup of 28. First down. And the horns are in business. The Longhorn come out showing three wide. McCoy down to the two. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback. First and goal for Texas at the two-yard line. McCoy in the shotgun looking to cut it in his deficit. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. McCoy option. Fumble. Recovered by the Longhorns back at the 10. Running the option gets a little bit tricky sometimes. A big Not loss on a play ball. of eight. Second down. The Second and goal the from the 10 yard line for Texas. McCoy. Looking. Shipley wide open. Touchdown, Texas. 10 yard touchdown catch by Jordan Shipley. And the Horns will stay on the field looking to tie this game up. McCoy's second touchdown pass of the game. And we're looking to tie it here with the two point conversion. McCoy has a man. He'll tie it up. And we're tied at 15. And the score, Texas 15. Alabama 15. What a statement drive to start the second Alabama, half. Eight plays, 73 four. yards. And a 10 yard touchdown pass from roommate to roommate. And we're tied at 15. Number eight. And, to, and Bama will start their first drive of the second half at the 41. We're deadlock at 15. At the 41. Let's see what Alabama do to start their first drive of the second half with 2.55 left in the third quarter. Well, McElroy fires Ingram. He's met by a host of white jerseys. Loss of one. It's second down. Alabama in a four-wide set. Quarterback draws back, looking. 
Looking for you at the backfield. The angle route is incomplete. Appreciate all the viewers that's watching right now. This is a tough one right here. We're in a deadlock at 15 here in the midway part of the third. Quarterback drops back. McElroy has Julio Jones with an amazing catch over three players. And McElroy took a hot shot by Longhorn. And it was Sergio Kittle that was a guilty party. So at 15 yards to the spot to the play. And it sets Alabama up deep in the Texas Longhorn territory. So with 2.20 left, Bama's on the move to answer the Texas scoring drive. Alabama comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Play action. McElroy overshoots Julio Jones. Too far for the wide so it'll be second and 10 to 32. If y'all watching right, y'all comment who video, who which player from this NCAA video game that y'all be who y'all want me to recreate in their final collegiate football game. Comment down below which player you want me to do next in this series. But hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. I definitely gotta redo that Tim Tebow uh challenge that I failed last night. But we're in a deadlock of Colt McCoy's final challenge. And another pass to number 80. Gets the defender sleeping. And Alabama answers the Texas score with a score of their own. McElroy's second TD pass of the game. And Alabama up 21-15. Extra point by Tiffin is good. And he tacked down the extra point. And just over two minutes left here in the third. The score is Alabama 22, Texas 15. 21 15 after McElroy's second touchdown Alabama pass of the game. One off. Number nine and number eight deep to return. He sends it off. Buck to the return. Takes it at the eight. Guys, their last possession, they really had good success passing the ball. Hey, if you ask me, I'd air it out some more. Lee, I agree. Make them show you that they can stop it before you change things. It'll up. be first and ten for Colt McCoy to long horns. Hands off the middle, and the longest run of the game goes for three. And Bebba does a great job slowing down the Texas running attack. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 27. The Longhorn. Second and seven. Longhorn's down seven. McElroy's pass. I mean, McCoy's pass is picked. Great catch by the linebacker, but not McCoy's a first the turnover of the game. And sex Alabama up in prime field position at the 29. Dangerous pass for McCoy. And the Crimson Tide has a chance to make it a two-score game late in the third. The Crimson Tide come out in the ace formation. Man in motion. Handoff. Right side. Pass complete. He's hit and taken down. For no gain. Second down and ten to go. Second and ten to the 29. Texas looking to hold Bama to a field goal. They'll work from the shotgun. Both quarterbacks are throwing a pick tonight. McElroy finds a screen. Jones taking down from behind. For a of three. Third and eight from the long horse, 27 yard line. McElroy lines up in a shotgun alongside Mark Ingram. Going with the shotgun here. Boy, look at he is sacked for a loss. He just blew past the blockers and drove. And it'll be four for fifteen at the thirty-four. And you're just out of field goal range. You're gonna put it away. PJ Fitzgerald set to put it to pin the long horse deep. Here comes and a good punt. And they'll down them at the six. So Texas pinned once again down here deep in their own territory. And for those who just tuned in, we were last time we pinned out here early in the first quarter. A safety ensued. So first and ten for the six. 
McCoy to the right side has a bid and gives Texas a little bit of breathing room. A seven yard pickup. Second is three for the 13. It's second down. The defense is in the nickel. Looks to pass. McCoy screen play is overthrown. He tried to get five the running back. I mean, everybody from the Dixie line came after McCoy. Third and three for Texas. Size a man. He's all alone. First down. And McCoy took a shot this time around. And it's automatic first down. 15 yards after the end of the play. First and 10 for Texas. Final 10 seconds of the third quarter. Fires the running back on the screen. He'll get about a pickup of four. Twenty-two fifteen as we head to the fourth. Second down. As Texas try to tie this game up in the fourth. McCoy trying to find him in as a complete. Third and seven for Texas. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Longhorn. Coy, once again, pass incomplete. Back to back drops. We got to fix that right there. That's too many drops by him. So we're going to switch that receiver because he's hurting me right now with these drops. I'm gonna put McCoy uh, back, uh, back over, but uh, Shipley right there. And we're gonna go for the four, and we're trailing by a touchdown. I know it's a dicey call, but I wanna see what we can do on fourth down. The Longhorn and five receivers on this play. Looking. McElroy's, McCoy's pass is intercepted again for the second time tonight. And a big turnover the turn over the fourth quarter here. He knew what was coming all along. You can't throw interceptions like that. You just can't. So with 451 left, Bama leaves by seven. Can Texas get their offense back on the field? McElroy's pass is caught. Ingram what man to beat. He will be caught. Touchdown, Alabama. One play, 42 yards. And McElroy's third TD pass in the game. He's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And Alabama rolling in the fourth, up 13, making 14. So the Horns down two scores. Questionable play call and leads to a Bama quick score. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Now Texas has to score with some urgency. Buckner on a return. Buckner to about 32. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? Well, time isn't on their side anymore. They McCoy back to back drives with interceptions. Right, and now they're down two scores. McCoy come back on the field. McCoy. McCoy looking for Shipley. Shipley hauls it in. Big time completion to the 27. Well, don't go away yet, folks. Big time completion by by McCoy to Shipley. To get something going. I think this defense got a little bit soft. First and ten for the 27. They gotta score quickly. McCoy. McCoy, Shipley again, first down. Shipley makes it first and ten for the ten. Yeah, when the ball was thrown, I thought the only person who was gonna have a shot at it. Was one of the onlookers on the side. First and ten for the ten. In, in two plays, the Longhorns are looking to strike. Pass incomplete intended for Shipley. Was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it second down. Second and ten after the completion. They'll line up on the ten. Number twelve. McCoy lines in the shotgun. 
Looking for the screen is incomplete. Number 31 was the intended receiver. 30 10. Third down. Bamba looking to force Texas for a field goal. Third and 10 from the 10. The Longhorn. Line up with three wide. McCoy. End zone incomplete. And it's a tough fourth down from here. They got to score here. The cut is out of one possession game, McCoy. McCoy end zone incomplete. Javier Reedus with a deflection. It is a turnover on downs. You see their offense take the field with an explosive. McCoy is right looking there. for to receiving the end zone. And Javier Arenas slaps it away. And the tie takes over. The option, McElroy is stopping the backfield the by Blake Gideon. That's a loss, of four yards. loss of four back to the six. So it's Texas has to get a stop here. The game's over. Six. They're down two scores with under four to play. They're in the eye. They drive and a false start. start. And he now it'll be half the Grant. distance to the goal. It'll the be second start. and 17. And Time continues to run. It just takes some focus. Second and 17 for the three for Alabama. Three nineteen left for the fourth. Bam up two scores. Lucky McElroy incomplete. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Well, the defender was all over him. On and that this point. is gonna be costly. It's gonna be defensive pass interference, and that'll be automatic first down for Alabama. He got the receiver a bit too soon there. You won't get much of an argument from me. That was a good call. So the they had to stop, but a pass interference keeps the drive alive and time ticking off the clock. Hit onto the fullback, and he's hit by Sergio Kendall. So Texas will call their first timeout of the second half to preserve some time. They're down two scores. They have to get a stop on this drive here. They had a stop before, but a P.I. kept the drive going for Alabama. Alabama will line up in a jumbo set here. Back to the fullback again. Third down. Timeout, Texas. One timeout remaining for Longhorns. Three minutes on the clock remaining. McElroy. It is caught. How do you catch that? After all of his touch it. And it's our fourth and sixth. They come out in a punt formation. And 253 left. Bam, Texas will get the football back. But they have to Number score eight. quickly. They have to score the next drive. Touchdown or bus. Shipley back to return. And Shipley will return this one. And he's hit hard at the 45. McCoy comes out of the field. Down 14. 247 left. Yep, the clock's ticking. So it's crucial that the offense gets the score on in this drive. Simpson, incomplete. Someone got a hand on it. I'll tell you what, Kirk. If that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall. McCoy, looking for Shipley. Incomplete. Ball's incomplete. He let that pass get away from Third him. Third down. A little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time. But he'll get the next one. 32 from the 45, 229 the left in the third. It's third and ten. McCoy lines up in the shotgun, shifts to the right. McCoy. McCoy has a man first down. No huddle, good pass by McCoy third. Top ticket for Alabama for Texas. McCoy looking for Shipley. He dropped in the end zone. Wahai drops the touchdown. Second and 10 with 220 left in the fourth. Second 
McCoy. McCoy's pass incomplete. And again, they go to the Javier Reed is down Not on the pressure. Two reasons why I like this call. First of all, you're telling your players that you have confidence in them getting it right. 30 and 10 and for the 39. The defense, that you don't care what they do, you're going to run. McCoy simply drops this sure catch and it's fourth down. Again here. That's going to bring up fourth down, coach. That this is for the ball game. They have to convert here or Bama will win the game. Fourth and ten. McCoy lines up just to the right. McCoy. McCoy's pass incomplete. Now to do it. Much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and he got to put it all on the line. They'll go to work at the 39. So Bama could easily run the rest Alabama, of this time out. Hand off and it's off sides of Texas. Here's the official call. And he helped the offense with that penalty. And you have to be careful here because the offense will get a So fortunately, we're about to go 0 2 in this the series. We lost last night in Tebow's final college game. We're about to lose Colt McCoy's last college game. As Bama looks like they're going to run the rest of this clock out. No time about to slow the clock down either. Makes it second to five with a minute 42 left. Second down. It is 30, it's 40 seconds per play clock, so... They can run away down to the one minute mark here on second down. Alabama comes out with an eye formation. Third down. They came with a blitz at so they can actually they hike the football the with 30 seconds to go. Third and five coming up. Alabama comes to the line with three wide. Action pass complete to Julio Jones and that'll do it. They can pretty much watch the clock. And that'll that do it. Yep. I think they pretty much Bama wrapped this game up, up winning this one. Season. It never it's trailed at all. The game was as close as seven to twelve. But the Horns get outscored twin uh seventeen to eight the rest of the way. And that'll do it. Alabama wins 29-15 in this national championship rematch. Michael Roy throws for three TDs. And Texas falls by 14. So for Colt McCoy's final collegiate game, we lose by 14. But let's look at his final stats. And we, was, we have gained them by... 16 yards. McCoy was 18 of 41 passing. 302 yards, two touchdowns, two INTs. Shipley led all receivers 5 for 100 and a touchdown. But unfortunately, we could not stop Greg Macro, who we threw three touchdowns on. But I appreciate y'all tuning into the game. Uh, Fortune, we're over two in the series. Y'all comment down below who should I do next, man. If y'all new to the channel, guys, hit that like, subscribe button for more videos like this. As you can see on my screen, those are all my social media handles on the bottom left. So y'all hit those channels up. Hit the follow button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So hit that, that like, subscribe button. 
hit that uh, notification bell button for more. Hit me up on TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for more content, guys, like this, man. Without further ado, guys, I want to thank y'all for coming today, guys. And I know it's late because I got to get to church in the morning. So I'll holler at y'all next video, guys. Y'all be easy.